Zach, where's the Apollo Justice cutout? Mail in. I'll put it on. I'll, I'll put it on screen. No, no, don't ask for Don't that. tempt me. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt him. I'll get here right like this, and I'll tell you, I'm, I'm Apollo Justice, and I'm fine. But folks, what is up, and welcome back to another Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. Apollo, ha, everyone. <laughs> And our actual lawyer, Bridge. Hey. Uh, if you like this, follow us on twitch.tv slash save data team. Uh, you know, even though we're not streaming this there right now. And support us on patreon.com slash save data team if you can. Uh, we're including it through $10 level and above. You get your name included in this very wonderful Patreon song. Thank em, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Burger Bun, Mr. Cola Bun, Nelly Cosmo, Cud, Dave Paul, Lucha, and Sofino. HSM, Earn Less, Crow Knight, Danny, Ant Lester, Kevin Nation, Shadow, Navi. Witch Tower, Sky, Herlock, Hyde, South Aria, Arky, Forensic, Fecknick, Cole, JFJ, Mystic, Woody. Leprechaun, Jacob Bell, Go Go, Zeppeli, Sheber, Steam Rider, Rila Jolie, Baron Esper, BBC, What and Sherlock, Mr. Mocosil, Arts, Ami, Borshock. Lumilia, super cool, Chrissy, Buck, Ocean, Mari, Diego, Garcia, Charlie, and Boomer, Emily. Mega Zero, Big Kerbo, who needs to sleep delay ya, Yakta, Est, Ever, Entropy, Daedric, and Serafina, Maho, Stars, The Driver, 458, Tasty Morabar, Jack Warner, Taco Sensei, QB, Nagashi, Anime, Chick, The Jester, Haruka, Naegi, Desert Boy Man, Elijah Sly, Rick, Rats, Katja, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat, Conjuring, Scribe, Zeal, Croissant, Fulfilla, Written Word, Chain the Punisher, Sevilla, Thank him, thank him, gotta thank him all, gotta thank him all, our Patreon, and before we get back into it, uh, let me just say to the folks watching, also next week, next two weeks, uh, we are not going to be streaming this game, uh, mostly because of scheduling conflicts, uh, but instead we're going to be checking out brand new, not brand new, came out earlier this year, a game called Paranormasite. If you like this game, you like 999, you're probably you like gonna... Paranorman. Exactly. You're going to love this game. Uh, it, it, it's incredible. We're, we're going to check it out, have a fun time, and... Uh, uh, there probably will only be one. If you're watching this on Monday on the, as the edited version, there probably n will not be the second episode up on Tuesday because uh, I'm going to be out of town all weekend. Um, so it'll probably go up one and one before we get back to, to doing it uh, again on, on YouTube. But it'll make sense, uh, I hope. But basically, the, the <laughs> next recorded episode of Ace Attorney is going to be on October... Not October. November 8th. Uh, so So... Just so you know about that. Uh, and Raining Meadow gifted five Canadian dollars saying, as mentioned last week, Zach should voice the victim, Shoddy Smith. The reasons will become clear in time. <coughs> we'll talk about Does that. Does that answer your question? I'm doing I'm doing a lot of <laughs> doing a lot of voices in this case right now. I don't know. Until Zach and Russ's voice, let's not push him too <sighs> hard. I appreciate that. Just push kidding, Zach, want. voice every character. <laughs> okay. Voice me and Wes too. Okay. Hey guys. We'll send you this is Pridge here. Uh, I've got a bar exam for you this week. Let's talk about Mr. Guy. Mr. Guy uh, was coming down the street when suddenly his his neighbor, neighbor guy, had a alligator and he attacked him. Now, is Mr. Guy at fault for aggravating the alligator with his wild outlandish haircut? And the actions he took towards the alligator? Or is neighbor guy at fault because of the alligator being a wild animal? You let us know in the comments down below. How was that, Fridge? Wow, like like a mirror darkly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, you know what? Uh, some people in the chat make a good point. If you want to voice me, you got to be Swedish guy. So let's mm, hear your Swedish Let's hear your Swedish, my guys, Swedish guy. Uh, yeah. Mr. Right. Oh no. It is it is neighbor guy's alligator. It is attacking me. Ah, I'm Mr. Swedish guy. How about that? Not bad. Not okay. bad. I'll take it. Not bad. It got a little Kermit in there when it you did. Went, oh. It did. It did. Ah. Deborah. Ah. Deborah. The alligator's attacking me, Deborah. <laughs> oh, it's everybody loves Swedish Raymond. Yeah. Everybody That's loves good. it. Everybody, everybody does love Swedish Raymond. As That's they should. True. As they <laughs> should. But with that all out of the way, let's get back into the game.
Right. We just had our break. Phoenix said a lot of weird kind of cryptic stuff, but entrusted the case to us. Uh -huh. And something's going on with Kristoff. We'll find out. What are you talking about? <laughs> Count will now reconvene. Wow. 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 Chad, why do you like this game? Zero out of oh my ten. God. Did they the literally ever start this stream with a typo? <laughs> Count? Damn. Oh my god. Wow. No, no, guys, Grandpa. that's just the, that's just Grandpa. the British spelling of court. <laughs> no, they can't make that excuse anymore. We're not doing that thing. We're, we We're in America. We're in America. Kinda. Oh, fuck. God. That's... Grandpa, I think I actually think my grandpa's having a stroke right now. That's so unfortunate. Cut him a break. <laughs> Count will now reconvene. Does anyone smell burnt toast? <laughs> Has our witness, Miss Olga Orly, recovered? Y yes, Your Honor. Uh, well, she's regained consciousness. Perhaps we can hear her. Recovered? <laughs> Perhaps we can hear her version of the events again. That's the thing. You see, she's quite fatigued. Just being a little tired. Yeah. You're looking a bit fatigued yourself, Mr. Payne. Okay, rude. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I actually feel quite well rested, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, actually really not nice to say someone looks tired. Uh, <laughs> how would you feel if I said that to you, hmm? Sadly, fatigue is insufficient grounds for refusing to testify or prosecute. The defense would like to request that Miss Orley take the stand. Uh, very well, the witness will take the stand. Perhaps you could repeat your name and profession. All right, yeah, now that we know that you're a card shark or something. <laughs> or perhaps you'd rather admit that you're a poor liar and a poorer loser. Damn! You can't just say that! Not. <laughs> <laughs> what? Damn! What? She's yes, a pirate what? now? Completely d yep, she's a, she's a... Casino pirate? pirate? <laughs> She's Casino Pirate. <laughs> Damn. You've, you've heard of Tuxedo Mask. Now get ready for Casino <laughs> Pirate. <laughs> Name's Olga Orly. That's the truth. I'm a pro dealer. People call me Olga Quick Fingers Orly. Sure. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, really? I'll get it because that's her name. Want to know something else? I'm not really Russian. And my last name sounds like, oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Exactly. <coughs> there. That's the truth. I hope you're satisfied. Oh, that's good. Pokemon Queen says Pirates of the Casino Bean. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's, it's weird that this is the first time I'm speaking as Apollo this week. It feels like we've been streaming for a while. <laughs> Witness, you will tell the court what you were really up to that night. Fine, I'll talk. We had a plan, see? Let, re let me remind you that you are currently under oath here in my couch room. <laughs> Any further fabrications will have serious consequences. I might find you in contempt of cout. <laughs> Fine. Like I said, I'm a pro. That guy, Smith, hired me to do what I do best. I was planted at the Borscht Bowl Club several days prior to the night of the game. As a waitress. So, you were in cahoots with the victim? Not that he needed my help. Smith is a well-known poker player in some circles. But winning wasn't the main purpose of this game. 
It was about destroying a legend, the unbeatable Phoenix Wright. The plan was simple. Elegant, really. You see, we set up a trap of sorts. I was to plant a card in Wright's pocket beforehand. And then deal five aces during one of their games. When their hands were revealed, Smith would call him out and search Wright. He would then pull out the planted card and the trap would snap shut. And then he would give him a big nice hug. Yeah, what? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Is that a card in your pocket? Oh, uh, no, sir, that's my dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am just very happy to see you. <laughs> Ow! Your dick gave me a paper cut. <laughs> what? What? Uh. <laughs> you swapped the cards! And then our other accomplished Swedish guy would come out and accuse him of swapping <laughs> cards. Of being Swedish? Of <laughs> Exposed as a cheater and losing on top of it. He would have made a great double play. Just like that, the legend would be dashed to pieces. Okay, so like you weren't actually, you were more trying to just make him accidentally. Yeah, you, you were just trying, yeah. Okay. It's not, even that, it's not even that cool. Yeah. I mean, come on. Getting caught red-handed and cheating would cast doubt on all his prior wins. A seven-year legend destroyed by one little card. That was the plan. Man, oh, they, really? They fucking oh, really? love this joke. They they love it a little too much. Yeah. <laughs> How droll. Also, Kristoff's a person who says the word droll. Fuck this guy. <laughs> but it appears you made quite the mistake. A mistake? I agree. The trap was elegant. Yet... What happened to that planted card? Hey, that's right! He's lucky, I'll give him that. You'd have to be a... You'd have to be to slip free from a trap laid by Olga Quick Fingers. Oh, really? Oh, really? Jesus fucking Christ, come on! <laughs> Someone in the, in the courtroom's like, Boo! <laughs> We get it. Her name sounds like her name sounds like another word. <laughs> the witness would be much cuter if she dispensed with the evil mastermind shtick. Judge, what the fuck is this line? <laughs> yeah, this is this is nothing, Judge. She's not cute anymore. Cute. First, I think Who she's cuter cute? with the. I think she's cuter with the casino pirate. Yeah, it's a it's a better yeah. shtick than just. Shy Russian girl, although maybe that's because we just played Great Ace of NG. That's true. Great Ace of NG. Great Ace of NG. <laughs> that's what they call it in Italia. Mm -hmm. I'm not cute. I'm bad. You hear me? Bad. The two are not mutually <laughs> exclusive. First, yes. That's, says, that says our resident true. cute and bad expert, Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sell yourself short. <laughs> when you're through being bad, perhaps you could testify to the count. <laughs> Tell us about this. Wes, Wes is going to get some mileage on that type. Yeah. <laughs> Wes oh. is getting as much joke mileage out of count as this game is getting out of O'Reilly. O'Reilly. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about this trap and how it was sprung. That night, I planted the card like I was supposed to. And Wright lost the last hand just like he was supposed to. Then Smith searched him. And Smith gave him a reach around hand job. <laughs> it really, like, why is Phoenix Wright's face like this? Phoenix it's, is like, it's, ah, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But shot, they're, they're not in the same headspace as far as this no, reach around. No, no. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah it's, that's a, that, I don't think there's any other way to put it besides that's a really angry hand job. <laughs> <laughs> I've and seen a sand a sand a sand hand job in my day, but not an angry hand job. 
<laughs> oh, fuck. But the planted card was gone. The trap failed. The next moment, Rat picked up a bottle and swung it. It wasn't me who hit Smith. It was that no good, cheating defendant. But you, you're arguing, you, but you're the you one that cheated. made him cheat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. A surprisingly frank testimony that still leaves us mostly in the dark. Are you trying to get me, Judge? <laughs> Not today. The trap was perfect, I tell you. Perfect. If that rotten cheetah hadn't messed it up. If that guy we were trying to force to cheat didn't yeah. stop us from forcing him to cheat? <laughs> Look who's talking! Look who's talking, Olga O'Reilly. <coughs> oh, really? God damn it. Who's on first? I don't know. Third base! Uh -huh. Well, the testimony, for what it's worth, is all yours, Mr. Justice. Witnesses like her? Who needs criminals? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and with defendants like Mr. Right, who needs prosecutors? Yeah. Right, yeah. You're pushing it. I, I, the first one was legitimately funny, Apollo. You're pushing it. Yeah, it didn't need a double joke. <laughs> uh, planted the card like I was supposed supposed to great loss the last hand like he's supposed to then Smith searched him I do want to hear about the search so everything went according to plan exactly was the hand job part of the plan <laughs> or was that ad living the fifth case came up so it's obvious the switch went off without a hitch once the extra card was found in his pocket, Wright would be forever known as a cheat and a fraud. And a quick shot. <laughs> there are worse yeah. things to be known as, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there, Judge? Is there? <laughs> Tell us what happened with the search. <laughs> <laughs> this card was gone, the trap failed. Card disappeared? Well, actually, it was never in there. <laughs> so, why is he di Don't ask. <laughs> yeah, my trump card, the Five of Hearts. Gone, without a trace. Poof, Zippo! We searched every nook and cranny, <laughs> and I mean every nook and cranny. <laughs> I can't. I simply can't with this image. It's really good. What? Even inside his cute little hat. <laughs> but the card was nowhere to be found. Is this correct? Never in my long storied career. Never has Quick Fingers O'Reilly been so <laughs> readily duped. <laughs> I don't know, it's not like your partner was the one with the quick finger. Yeah, I, it's, it's like the fact that we're making all the, the reach around jokes. Her saying her nickname is Quick Fingers. She has a long storied career. It's 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 very good. <laughs> my partner my partner's name is Supple Fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? Yes, what do you God, want? Fuck no, off. No, not that. <laughs> so what did happen to that five of hearts? Don't look at me. Why don't you ask that cheating, lying, two-faced defendant? So the Five of Hearts is still missing in action. So I right picked up the bottle and swung it. Why would he do that? <laughs> but why, though? Wait, isn't that a little odd? What's odd? You... Mr. Wright was getting a hand job, and then he just decided to attack you? It seems pretty strange <laughs> to me. I'm pretty sure he would be way too exhausted <laughs> having... He would be suffering from post-nut exhaustion. Jesus Objection. Christ. <laughs> you search Mr. Wright. Uh, what the, come on, the wording of this. <laughs> and found nothing? Which means he didn't cheat. 
which means he had no reason to strike the victim. Well... Oh, Jesus, God, well, I thought the game fucking fucked up. Yeah, I got... That record <laughs> scratch was so weird. Well, I thought for sure the game crashed and I was about to cry. <laughs> <laughs> What's that just now? I... sense something. Something wrong, Mr. Justice? Uh, no, nothing, Your Honor. It must be that hit of acid I just did before. <laughs> what to do? Should I press her a little harder? I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, you should. Miss O'Reilly, you're hiding something. B what are you talking about? Y y you... M me? Quick fingers, O'Reilly? The defense will refrain from baseless accusations. I have one question for the witness, then. You say you saw the moment the defendant hit the victim. Is this true? Uh, of course it's true. Then why did you look away from me very suspiciously like that? I, I <laughs> then why did you did have an incredibly it. obvious towel? <laughs> I d did see it, honest. I, I saw it when Wright hit him. With my own eyes, I saw it. What's this weird vibe I'm getting? Olga is not passing. The I noticed. Check. Yeah, I noticed your. I noticed your vibe from across the courtroom, and <laughs> I don't like it. Me and my counsel would like to buy you a drink. <laughs> <laughs> would like to not buy you a drink. We don't like your vibe. That witness, for instance, Miss Orley, she would touch the back of her neck during certain parts of her testimony. Did you notice? Touching her neck was it? This is like weird slowed down version. Whoa! Jesus Christ, I did, he did take some acid right before this. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Whoa, what's going on? This sensation, it's coming into focus. What the hell did I drink? <laughs> <laughs> there, that Twitch. No, we're on YouTube tonight, Apollo. Come on, it's so yeah, clear. That YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's better. That makes more sense. It's like I could perceive her habit like I couldn't before. Oh no, she has Use a habit. Use the perceive button. Perceive. I do not wish to be perceived. Gotcha! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Miss O'Reilly, perhaps you are unaware of this yourself. Uh, uh, unaware of what? Whenever you get to a certain part of your testimony, you touch the back of your neck with your left hand. My, my neck? It is kind of funny that, like, the idea that she's a professional, like, poker dealer and has a very obvious tell. <laughs> and has tell. an incredibly <laughs> obvious tell. Yeah. yeah. So what? What indeed, Justice? I hadn't noticed anything of the sort. When she says that part of the testimony... Yeah, she's but you're not tripping balls, Kristoff. <laughs> That's my, a good point. Listen, my, my, my power in this game is to do copious amounts of drugs before I show up to the courtroom. <laughs> it helps me see things. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a power. That's just <laughs> illegal. Justice, what are you doing? <laughs> She's subconsciously recalling something. Her body reacts to the memory, and she touches her neck. I'm sure of it. A memory? Would someone care to explain what he's babbling about? This is highly unusual. But let's ask the defense. <laughs> you claim the witness is remembering something. Maybe you have evidence of this memory to show us? Her habit is scratching her neck whenever she talks about the moment of the crime. So, what would remind her of the most of the moment of the crime? Miss O'Reilly, whenever you recall the crime that night, you scratch your neck. Notice it happens when you think about the moment of the crime. This is the most circular sentence I've ever heard. There must be some reason behind this habit of yours. Where you scratch the back of your neck, 
when you think about the moment of the crime. <laughs> I believe the weapon that left an in inerasable impression on your neck is this. Uh, the weapon left an inerasable impression on your neck. Uh, I mean, did she get hit with the bottle? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I have no idea what they're going for with this. We'll try the bottle, I guess. I mean, again, it's the only thing that's a weapon, and this is the yeah. first case. So, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it probably has to be, but, like, uh, uh, let's, see, let's see where they go with it. Whenever she talks about the moment of the crime, she touches her neck. And, w and what reminds us more of that moment than this bottle, the murder weapon? Something doesn't fit. If you were only the witness to the crime, why would that make you touch your neck like you're in pain? What's he talking about now? It was Mr. Smith, the victim who was hit, not you. Uh, um... This is a cross-examination, not a cross-wild conjecture. That's the secret part of the. That's the secret part of the court they don't tell you about. Yeah. The cross. <laughs> when, when you put a witness on the stand, and you just say random impossible things. That's in the. That's in the secret section <coughs> of the of the textbook, the lawyer textbook. <laughs> that's when the witness gets up there, and you just start saying, "Jeff Jewel can't melt steel beams." Jesus Christ. <laughs> The, the witnesses habits they're completely irrelevant justice i'll admit i'm a bit confused myself <laughs> this no is certainly a about. unique cross-examination i'll explain later just trust me now's our only chance to break her miss or what will, what will break first your mind or your body? <laughs> no, Miss Oakley. I know. I expect you. I expect you to testify. I was molded by it, Miss O'Reilly. Please testify in detail about the moment of the crime, the very moment. <laughs> Yet, I am knowing nothing. <laughs> um, we we know you're not Russian. <laughs> well, she's certainly Russian to go to jail. <laughs> hey, I'm at the Chuckle Hut this Friday evening. The witness will testify, please. Now. <laughs> Fine. He's the one who did it. I didn't let him out of my sight until the cops got there. Uh, I mean, um, well, that's not true that's because not true. he went yeah, to make a phone call. He made the call. Uh, I think it's the phone. Yeah, from the, the first the, floor. The first floor, yeah. Gotcha, Miss O'Reilly. We have a record here that clearly contradicts what you said. It states that the police were alerted by a report from the defense. By a report from the defendant. Uh. And we know that the defendant left the room, climbed the stairs, and made the phone call from the first floor of the Borscht Bowl Club. Uh. So, explain how you kept your eyes on the defendant when he left the room entirely. <laughs> Jesus. Terrifying face. Yeah, what the fuck? The man who picked up a bottle and swung it that night wasn't the defendant. It was Crystal. Wow, that was that was really fast. Yeah, she just gave that up pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'm, you know, used to it being the last case of a game and people being like, ha ha ha. Well actually. Showdown time! Thank you, Swedish guy. You dirty cheat! Check his pockets now! It, it's gone! The card's gone! 
You lose. <laughs> ah! Thank you. Thank you very much. Swedish Just then, theater. Smith. <laughs> Swedish theater. Just then, Smith grabbed the bottle from next to right. And he hit me. You, some master of uh, cheating you turned out to be. When I came to, the victim was already dead. Is that it? That's why I couldn't reveal who I really was. If it came out that I was in league with Smith, I'd be a suspect for sure. Well, where does this leave us? M madness. Th this is madness. No, this is no, true. I'm this dreaming. Is Marta. Yeah, come on. Uh, <laughs> I'm not doing anything for that, Chad. I'm sorry. Doesn't even feel. Doesn't feel even feel satisfying to do. No. <laughs> it must have been me who was hit with a bottle, and I'm imagining all of this. <laughs> That's right, Pain. Wake up. It was you. Wake up, Pain. You've been in a coma Winston. this whole time. <laughs> the entire Ace Attorney series is just in Winston Jesus. Payne's coma dream. Which is so weird because he's not even an important part of no. most of it. How, how, how low self-esteem do you think yeah, Winston Payne has awesome. that he's not even the main character in his coma dream? <laughs> He's, he's barely a character in his own coma <laughs> dreams. Just straight up brutal lack of self esteem. Uh, chat's popping off with a very good joke, which mm. is no, this it's is count. count. <laughs> good. It appears our prosecution is at his wit's end, and frankly, I can't blame him. Mr. Gavin, uh, what do you think about this turn of events? Mr. Gavin? Sir? I believe that, <clears throat> as the defense, I believe that, is as the defense in this case, we are compelled to call Miss O'Reilly a big fat liar. What? Three were in that room the night of the murder. The defendant, victim, and her. And she has a motive. A motive? Her plot foiled. The witness got into an argument with her client, Mr. Smith. And the denouement of that argument was murder. What? I didn't... I'm no killer! It's a trap! Someone's trying to frame me! Okay, Admiral Akbar. <laughs> oh no, Phoenix with the evil laugh. The tangled webs we weave when we pra Whoa, oh shit, Phoenix coming in here with Ooh, the fucking poetry the 101. Poetry? <laughs> what tangled webs we weave when we practice to deceive. So tangled, we catch ourselves in the process. Snaps for Mr. Wright. <laughs> Mr. Wright? Such a hasty conclusion. It's not like you, Kristoff Gavin. What are you saying? Why not consider the other possibility? That there was another person in the room at the time of the murder. Right. Like Mr. Wright was saying before the recess. A single card was swapped into the victim's hand after the murder. And the one who swapped the card didn't know two color of cards were being used. A fourth person. On the grassy knoll. <laughs> Dang, what? Sorry, I swear I was at the second shoot. That was horrible. J the JFK assassination <laughs> just getting wild now. <laughs> ha! This theory again about the grassy knoll. Your fourth person doesn't exist. Indeed. That's why I decided to bring this case to court. Here, where there's no escape and no chance for deception. The perfect place to catch the real criminal. The real criminal? And we're in luck. Clue to the real criminal's identity was kindly provided for us. And right at the beginning of the trial, no less. What? 
Apollo, perhaps you know what I'm talking about. Um, sorry. <sighs> Remember what I said. God, the fourth person who swapped the cards made one critical error. He or she wasn't considering the colors on the cart on the backs of the cards. Right. How could such an obvious mistake occur? The cards used for the last game were red. Yet, there is one person here, in our court, who thought those cards were blue. Yeah, I had that impression too, but why? Well, Apollo, think you can figure out who it was? It's not me, I swear! No one was going to accuse it. <coughs> Who is this fourth person? <laughs> Emily Grover in the chat says, It was Godot! <laughs> that's right, because you no, can't see the red. That's right, because he couldn't it, see oh my the gosh! red! He can't see the color red, it's Godot! <laughs> He's oh back! Gosh. Why do I always get put on the spot like this? Let's hear what the defense has to say. Who was it? Who thought the cards used in the final game were blue? I mean... The, the thing Shot that it. sucks is there's only one person it can be based on this list. <laughs> yeah, Pain! You're right. That's true. Absolutely he's, right. He's lying. He said it, was him. it wasn't him. Fuck, mm -hmm. it was him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as I expected. Your eyes and ears are as sharp as your hair. I was right? Christoph Gavin, you were the fourth person that night. But of course Mr. Gavin knows the color of the cards. How would he? How would he? As you can see, the photo of the crime scene is black and white. You can't tell which of the cards are blue. The ones on the floor or the table. But, but look! You can see the colors in this photo! Yes, but when he said the cards were blue, it was well before this evidence came to light. It is true that the defendant was engaged in a game of poker with the victim. Yet it was only that, a game, in the purest sense. A competition, Your Honor. A competition? Yes, a test of wits, a silent clash of passions. It's actually, if this is a flashback, I said a silent clash of clans. You did. Only the cards, their backs wreathed in blue flame, know its final outcome. And then all the women in the courtroom were impressed. Yep. Well, Kristoff? Mr. Gavin? Mr. Gavin? I is something the matter? Hmm? N no, nothing. Excuse me, it was just so... sudden. Just trying to figure out what I'm going to do with all the free time I have now that I'm going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Should I become one of those, like, super buff prison guys? Or more of a... Uh, or more of or more, a... Um, what, are the, what are the... Ties his shirt around his waist and gets a lot of tattoos, guys. <laughs> or maybe Red, from, or maybe Morgan Freeman's character from Shawshank Redemption. Can I try and be the, the savvy old guy who can get you anything? What do you guys think? Chat, let us know what kind of prison guy Kristoff should be. <laughs> Do they let you bring your Nintendo DS into court? Because I could really play the Phoenix Wright Trilogy. <laughs> right. You aren't seriously accusing me, are you? Oh, Kristoff. You know even I'd never take a joke this far. This has gone beyond ridiculous, beyond dumb. This is insanity! The defendant accusing his own defense attorney of murder? I assure you, I'm quite sane. But what possible connection could Mr. Gavin have to the victim? I wasn't aware that I had a connect. I wasn't aware that I had a connection to Mr. Smith either. Yes, but Mr. Gavin and the victim have never even met. Well, what if they have? Huh? There is a possibility 
after all. They may have met that night, before the game started. What are you suggesting? Is this the truth Mr. Wright was staying silent about? Well, only one thing to do. Mr. Wright! The defense would like you Objection! like to require that you testify before the court! The defense would like to request no such thing. Mr. Gavin? Testimonies must relate to the case. How could anything happening before that game of poker be related? This is pretty cool, honestly, to have our counsel like, <laughs> shut the fuck up, Apollo. <laughs> I'm not sure I follow, Mr. Gavin. Especially in a uh, tutorial case where he's like supposed to be telling us what to do. It's very good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <coughs> As I explained before, the defense believes that Miss O'Reilly... Am I to assume you speak for Mr. Justice in this? He is the he is the defense, not you. Mr. Justice, the matter of Mr. Wright's testimony is up to you. Oh. Okay. Does the court, in your opinion, need to hear Mr. Wright's testimony? I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! This was Mr. Wright's strategy. He was planning this all along. And I intend to see it through. The defense would like to request that Mr. Wright testify to the court. At two, Justice? Wow. You would betray me, your teacher. He makes a fucking Julius Caesar reference. That's incredible. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Gavin. This isn't about loyalty. It's about finding it's about the justice. truth! <laughs> Very well. The defendant, Mr. Wright, will take the stand, please. Appetite before murder. <laughs> that evening, Kristoff and I had dinner. We sat at the table That's and not this Christoph. <laughs> Objection! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it! You caught me in my first <laughs> ah, son contradiction. Of a bitch. God damn it, Apollo! You're too good. We sat at the table in this photograph. Shoddy Smith walked in five minutes after Kristoff left. When the trap failed, Smith hit the waitress. Oh my God! What? That also, uh, I that, you know what? I'm choosing to read that as. Smith did a, a cool new dance that all the kids are talking about. The waitress. He hit the gritty. You know, we've heard people hit the gritty, but now he's hitting the waitress. <laughs> for you. For you. For you. For you. <laughs> Can I take your hat, sir? <laughs> when the trap failed, Smith hit the waitress. The girl was knocked out cold, and Smith was uncontrollable. I left to call the police. When I returned, he was dead. Blood streaming from a cut on his forehead. That's when I made another phone call to defense attorney Gavin. Mr. Gavin, you were at the Borscht Bowl Club the night of the murder? He said that at the beginning. I dine with him rather frequently. And he talked to the defendant on the phone directly after the murder? Quite against my will, I had become involved in a murder. I thought I might I thought I might be in need of a lawyer, so I called him. You were planning this all along, weren't you, right? Just because you wanted to drag me into your little murder trial. The only thing I want is the truth. As I did back then, and now. I thought my office was doing you a favor when we took on your defense. It appears that I was wrong. Very well. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Justice? Sir? He's lying. And you're going to expose him. Uh, understood, sir. Mr. Gavin versus Mr. Wright. This can't end well. Why can't I have a normal trial? Hey, Kristoff is not Gavin this right now. 
Boo. <laughs> Okay. Sat at the table in the photograph. Shoddy walked in five minutes later. When the trap failed, Smith hit the waitress. The girl was knocked out and Smith was uncontrollable. I left to call the police. I want to press about this because... Gavin had to get into the room to kill Smith at some point. Oh, I'm curious. You made the call to the police from the first floor of the restaurant, correct? Exactly. Cell phones don't get signaled down in the hideout. Was anyone else on the first floor at the time? Not a soul. It was the middle of the night, after all. So there, in the darkened restaurant, I called the cops. After making the call, I returned to the hideout. It didn't seem right to leave that injured, injured, waster, injured, injured waitress alone. Okay, and when he returned, he was dead. And when you returned, the victim was already... Dead. Yes. I'll admit, I was a little startled when I walked in. A little? He was bleeding from his forehead, after all. I guess I'd be startled too if I walked in on a scene like that. And that's when he called Gavin. Could you... Explain why you called Mr. Gavin? I'd obviously got involved in a rather sticky affair, and I figured Kristoff's law offices would give me a friend rate. Would give me a friend rate for my defense fees. <coughs> <coughs> Glad to hear you intend to pay. <laughs> Kristoff has become so shitty in the last like five <laughs> minutes. It's incredible. <laughs> oh, I'll pay in full, Kristoff. It was I who got you in involved, after all. You may find the price of your defense quite high, my good friend. Quite high. Is this the truth that Mr. Wright was talking about? Justice, you know what you have to do. He's lying. Expose him. Now. Y yes, sir. I have to think. What's Mr. Wright trying to tell me with this testimony? The truth has to be in there somewhere. I mean, I mean, we can press the other statements, but I do feel like that has to be something with the phone. But maybe not. You had dinner with Mr. Gavin? Yes, he dines with me at the Borscht Bowl Club quite frequently. We were enjoying a usual dinner at our usual spot, as usual. Usual? <laughs> <laughs> oh, always... really? No! <laughs> Stop. I always eat at the table closest to the piano. <clears throat> I see. Uh, where Mr. Smith was sitting. So, the plates and such on the table were from your dinner. Indeed. The remnants of my meal with Kristoff. We were having T-bone steaks. <laughs> with a Koban coin garnish. <laughs> we dined for two hours, then Kristoff left. After that... Okay... Also, isn't this supposed to be like the middle of the night because nobody else is in the restaurant later? Like... I don't know. Five minutes? So, the two of them could have passed in the restaurant during that time! That would have been a fateful encounter, to be sure. <laughs> oh, Mr. Wright. What was it you said? Christoph Gavin and Shoddy Smith may have met? I believe I did say that. Here I was, all nervous about this meeting. And now we hear they just passed in the hall? Hmm. That does seem a little weak as a pretense for murder. Oh, it would be. If that was all that really happened. Come on, Mr. Wright! What are you hiding this time? The trap failed, you get the- well, okay, we'll just press the final statement then. About this failed trap! This is the same trap that Miss Olga O'Reilly mentioned. The plan was okay. simple. Elegant, really. You see, we set up a trap of sorts. 
I was to plant a card in Wright's pocket beforehand, and then deal five aces during one of their games. When their hands were revealed, Smith would call him out and search Wright. Search in parentheses, in quotation marks. He would then pull out the planted card, and the trap would snap shut. You swap the cards. Jesus, we get the, we get it. Flashback. Just like that, the legend would be dashed to pieces. Yes, a harmless prank, in essence. It was by a quirk of fate that I happened to discover it. A quirk? I happened to put my hand in my pocket and found a card. The card she planted. Yes. I stuck a peek at it, and it was the Five of Hearts. I had a feeling something might happen, so I disposed of the card before the game. Disposed? Where? It was an empty bottle of grape juice I had been drinking right beside me. I threw the card inside the bottle. An empty bottle of grape juice? The murder weapon? Yes. I rolled it up and shoved it in. The colored glass makes it hard to see. Hmm. A battle of wits between the deceiver and the would-be deceived. That sounds like terrific trauma. A card inside the murder weapon? That's strange. Did the police miss it in their investigation? Maybe I'll take a look. Mr. Wright. The poker head of courtroom number three approves of this battle of wits. Okay. Please revise your testimony with this new information. All right, well, let's look at that bottle. Show me the bottle. Sheep. Oh, whoops. Uh oh. The bottle is completely empty. Okay. Well, I mean, that's just a objection to the bottle, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Suppose the card in the bottle. Objection! That was nothing. Yep. <laughs> um, Mr. Wright, if I may. Yes? I've examined the bottle, and I don't see any card in here. Hmm. No? What, Mr. Wright? Surely... Uh, isn't all you have to say for yourself? I can't say that I know what happened to the card. I did put it in that bottle, however. Huh? Perhaps a fifth person came and took it out. Oh, and a sixth person could have helped. Okay, that's actually incredible. That's really good. Uh-huh. That's a very good joke. Mr. Gavin, Mr. Wright is your client. My apologies, Your Honor. I won't have you disparaging our investigation either. We looked inside that bottle. There was nothing. So what's going on? Is Mr. Wright hoodwinking us again? Or did the card just disappear? In any case, uh, please continue the cross-examination. I'm afraid decisive contradictions call for decisive evidence. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Push him harder, Justice. Break him. I'm starting to think you're the bad guy, Kristoff. <laughs> it's just you and the witness in the ring. Go for the KO. KO! <sighs> Why do I get the feeling we're not on our client's side anymore? <laughs> okay... Where the fuck does that get us, though? Uh... Walked in, Kristoff left... Uh... Discovered the trap... Is there... Is there, uh... A picture of a bottle, and you can, like, see a card in it or something somewhere? Oh... I'd be surprised if that's... I mean... You can't see it in this one, but that would also be a good spot for it to be. Otherwise, 
Oh, well, this is the same picture. Yeah. Different angle. I mean, we haven't we haven't pressed the statement. Yeah. Uh, that he added to his testimony. Let's go to the card in the bottle. Yeah. Okay. Oops. So yeah, it would be this one. Why in the bottle? I perceive my opponent's intent immediately. I'm used to entrapment, you see. <laughs> what? You're trying to cheat in card games, you have to tell me. Legally. Otherwise, it's entrapment. Legally, you have to tell me. I Legally. knew what was coming. Oh, -ho, so you struck first. I like that. I know every trick in the book. They don't work on me. At least, when you get lucky and stick your hand in your pocket, they don't. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Hmm. I don't fucking know, y'all. <laughs> uh, just go through all the statements one more time. You don't have to press them. Just yeah. like, see what each of them says. Christoph had dinner, set up the table in the photograph. Shoddy walked in five minutes later. I discovered the trap during the game, disposed of the card in the bottle. The girl was knocked out cold, and Smith was uncontrollable, so I left to call the police. When I returned, he was dead, blood streaming from cut on his forehead. That's when I made another phone call to Gavin. I am completely lost. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, psh, all right. I know because a bunch of people are, are asking to, to give us a hint. Um, I don't know. Sure. Uh, give us a, a, a teeny tiny hint, chat. You're on the right track with pictures. Hat. Is it because the one picture he's not wearing a hat and this one he is wearing a hat? And that's fine, but how does that what help do us need? with this? I guess do, blood was streaming uh, from a cut on his forehead. How would he notice that if the man was wearing a hat? Yeah, I guess. Objection! That was it. Okay. Okay. All right. okay. Nope. Sure. Sure. All right. yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. That was good. That was good. That was a tough one. But gettable, I get it. Uh, yeah, I, the, I don't think the game leads you towards that really well. But mm -hmm. I, mean, I get, I get, I get why it works. I just don't think the game leads you does anything to lead you yeah. towards that. I mm -hmm. think, I think it because it's confusing because they were talking about the cards and right, the, yeah, right. The right. Card we, we were trying to pick up to something go. with the card and where yeah, the card we were, had. yeah, we were, we were like, oh, they did just talk about the card disposing it. Hmm, mm -hmm. what's yeah. what? What can we find about that? But no, it was, it had it was to like do with that. it was like the dialogue was leading you over here, but the actual yeah. answer was like a smoke and mirrors game. Mr. We got, Wright! We got, we got jubated. Mr. Wright, if I may. Yes? Oh, they really got me again. Take a look at this photograph of the crime scene. <laughs> See the victim here? He's wearing a hat. I wouldn't think you could see blood on his forehead. Good point. Justice. Next time you point out an inconsistency, put a little more oomph into it. I mean, I yelled it. What do you want from me? Mr. Wright, can you explain this to the court? Uh, I forgot to mention something. I was the one who put that hat on his head. Hey? You? You put the hat on the dead man's head? He wore it through our entire poker game. After calling the police when I returned to the scene, his head was in full view. Shining bright, just like in this photograph. And... I picked his hat up off the floor and put it on his head. Why'd you do a thing like that? Why did they use that explosion sound effect for that randomly? <laughs> They're so good at just reusing like the same two like damage sound effects. Why do they have to use a different one? Time to change things up, man. All I can say is, I'm sorry, but that's the only thing I touched at the crime scene. So, Mrs. O'Reilly didn't see it. It being the victim's, uh, his head. I think not. She was out cold. I believe I was the only one who witnessed his head. Now you uh -huh. witness his hand. <laughs> so Job. No, so no hand then? <laughs> no hand then. Ah, uh, 
Here we go again. Mr. Gavin? <laughs> Pardon? It just seems that our client is determined to lie his way through this case. Hmm. Hey, he's still our client, isn't he? I believe that's enough of that. Uh, Mr. Gavin? This witness's testimony is more like a travesty. It's riddled with lies. I'm beginning to see how you came to lose your attorney's badge seven years ago. <laughs> really? Well, you certainly have a unique way of trusting your cli of treating your clients, Kristoff. I never knew. I believe it was you who threw the first stone at Stonewall. He's got yes, he's got there. you there, <laughs> <laughs> Mister Wright. If you intend to ever tell the truth about this case, it's now or never. Don't be misled. I haven't told a single lie here. Hey? Hey? I noticed the Canadian what are you talking about, eh? Canadian Canadian uh, Apollo. When I noticed the trap, I put the card in the bottle to dispose of it. And when I put the hat on the victim's head, let's just say I had a reason for doing that as well. A reason? That reason. Is right is here. You. Your cell phone? That night, I called that I spoke with defense attorney Gavin after calling the police. Just in case, I recorded our conversation. What's this? Now that we're all here, I see no reason why I shouldn't play it back for the court. Kristoff? I seem to be in a bit of trouble. What's this? Game not going well? No, I just killed a guy. <laughs> oh shit, maybe I shouldn't have played that recording. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I kinda fucked myself on that one. <laughs> Is it too again, late to me. accuse Oga or really of this case? Of this? <laughs> Can we go back to that? <laughs> Something like that. That gentleman who challenged you, he turned out to be good? He turned out to be dead. Yes! I was hoping he was going to say that! That's incredible! <laughs> oh, what a great line, Phoenix! He turned out to be good. He turned out to be dead. <laughs> Someone hit him. Hard. After he got me. Hard. You mean someone cracked that flawless bone china pat pat pate? I'm pate? assuming it's supposed to be plate, but it might be another typo. Is that pate? I mean, I love a good pate. Oh, no. pate! I think means something. Oh, else. pate it's is pate is your head. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't you, was it? I know that actually from Shakespeare. Me, please. Yeah, because I think that there's a term <coughs> "paddle painted," mm -hmm. and that means like exactly weird in the head. Please, the cop should be here any minute. I'm in your hands. Should have come to that. Oh, no. Wait. They meant to say plate. What? <laughs> Game is unplayable. Two times oh, and, unless is, is someone, uh, someone could correct him here. Oh, wait. That's true. He, that's true. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's true. Apollo that's true. could, Apollo could just be doubt. here. You didn't draw You're right, Pridge. You're right, Pridge. Bone China Jack, plate. Nope. Nope, okay, they were just wrong. Oh, no, wait, no, wait. it was right, it was right. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> a kind of, we're fucking, we're all over the place on this. <laughs> wow, damn. There, damn, there, this is going this, hard this on case, this. This case is a ride. Yeah. <laughs> a kind of Okay, game porcelain. is back to being semi-playable again. Very smooth and shiny. And not plate, but pate. I believe he was referring to a certain gentleman's balding forehead. Hmm... Oh, and he's going to say, how did he know he was bald? Because he was wearing mm -hmm. a hat the whole time. Mm -hmm. The court appreciates the defendant's <laughs> discretion in not indicating my forehead. Wait a second. Something's not right about that phone call. So, after Mr. Gavin ate dinner with you, he left the Borscht Bowl Club. Or, he left the Borscht Bowl Club? 
Most certainly. Then, how did he know? When did he see this bone china pate? Excellent. Oh. <laughs> I, I actually said story bone again. Actually, right, I said bone china plate. <laughs> the audio just cut out a little bit there. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yes. That was when I began to see my good friend in a different light. Troubled, I returned to the crime scene. When I spotted Mr. Smith's head again, I realized, I realized exactly what was wrong. Well, Mr. Gavin, the stage has been set. Perhaps you would like to explain this to the court. Exactly how did you come by your privileged knowledge of the victim's head? This seems really odd. Can't just be like, I don't know, I... You seem like I... a bald guy. I have a great lie for this. When we passed each other in the hall, he, he took his hat took off. His hat for a off and, yeah, he took his. He took. Yeah. He, he, he took his hat. Me. <laughs> he took. Yeah, he took his hat. He maladed me. Yeah. <laughs> and that's yeah, why I had. Was... And that's why I had to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> because no he one I was a woman. Me. Mm -hmm. So, this is your reason. The reason why you put the victim's hat back on. Your point, Mr. Gavin. It's come down to this, has it? Phoenix Wright. There's been a lot of people in the chat saying that they have like X energy. Like they're, they they went through a breakup and now they're just being so fucking petty to each <laughs> other. And I actually super, I'm into that, that headcanon. It's pretty good. <laughs> order. I will have order. Mr. Payne. Y yes, your honor. I believe this court has been left with no other choice. Are you prepared to hear Defense Attorney Gavin's testimony? Uh, ah, uh, <clears throat> well, as the prosecutor, I... Very well. We'll break for ten minutes. <laughs> but I didn't finish yet. <laughs> but I never After said which, anything. Mr. Gavin will take the stand for a cross-examination. Are we all clear on that? Crystal clear, your honor. Very well. This will be the final recess for the day. Da-da-da-da! Da-da-da-da-da! <laughs> <laughs>